on deck. Amen. Now you over there, I'm gonna need questions to sit there and just see folk here. Yeah. David Lee, the pretty joiner, DJ. I kept quiet through every accusation because the Lord told me to. I resigned, though temporarily, because of legal counsel. Because of the things I was going to say was not fitting to be said by a leader. So I stepped down so that when I spoke, you couldn't judge it to a leader but to a man. After counsel with the legal system and with the leaders of Solid Rock, the governing him. They decided that I should not yes. relinquish yes. what God used me to be. I've been accused of child molestation. But my accusers let their children stay with me. Why be grown and touch kids when there's adult stuff you can touch? No child has come forth and said I did it because it's a lie. been accused of when we have convocations and meetings of this magnitude that I'm sex trafficking. Who am I bringing to preach? I supply sexual partners for them. I never would do that because I never had one. And with that kind of traffic, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to drive in it. I've been accused of taking church money to gamble and do other things that they say saints shouldn't do. I've given more than I'll ever receive. The reason I'm addressing this is because today I was resting, getting ready for the first session, and a sheriff called me, asked me, was I me? And I said, this is me. He said, well, there's an accusation that you're spreading HIV. And I said, then, God, that's enough. So I want to make it clear to everybody on Facebook and here. However you see me, that's your eyes. But I'm still God's anointed. And my problem is, folk will get healed by you, get their bills paid, and then act like you're nothing. I just want to say this, when this started, I commanded Solid Rock to stay quiet. Amen. A few didn't because they were angry. 
But I gave the general command Amen. to not feed into this. Amen. And I held that to this point. But be it known tonight, yeah. if there's one more accusation or one more post concerning this one right here, yeah. I'm turning everybody loose with all of their evidence, with all of their letters, with all of their pictures, I tried to do New Testament grace and mercy, but you sent me to Old Testament war. I want to thank God for all of my supporters. Amen. That have stood by me through this. I love you the more. I pray for innocent people that were bewitched by this trick of the devil, but we're going to make it. Because I'm crying. thing I want to say and then I'm going to go to my seat. If you will not allow folk to talk about your leader or your parent, I no longer will do the same. The Facebook post is getting ready to end. You have a choice to respond if you want. I want to say this, there will be no more live Facebooks during this holy convocation unless I deem it necessary. So all cameras after my statement will be cut off. Somebody say why? Because if anybody want to know what we're doing, come see if you bad or not. Tell your friends, tell your homeboys, tell everyone that's interested in what I have to say. <laughs> Start sweating. Start brother and Kobe. <clears throat> um, I can't promise that I won't be long. Hey Rhonda, oh, I feel support, I feel love. <laughs> it's late in the evening, what time is it? Seven o'clock, so it's what, 10 o'clock Eastern time. I'm on for a purpose, that's why I'm stalling for y'all who, that's like, what is he about to say? What is he doing, what's going on? I'm on for a purpose. Um, can everyone hear me okay? Y'all know I got to be on for a purpose. I ain't had a haircut in two weeks. I'm looking crazy. What's up, Michael? Hey, Meg. I mean, Didi. <laughs> Snow cones. You on? I can't see ev everyone. So if I'm missing important people that, to me, charge it to Facebook, not to me. Okay. Thank you, Jim. Y'all know, y'all. If y'all seen the live that I just seen, y'all know I got a lot to say, a lot, <laughs> uh, a lot. And you know, since we're bold enough to be direct, then we'll be direct. Um, I won't keep y'all too long. Hey, everybody. Um, so disclaimer to those who um are just getting to know me. Hence, my Arizona family. Sorry that um. Y'all may not understand 
what I'm about to be talking about, and you may be like, you lost. Um, so I'm giving you the option to get off now. Otherwise, you can sit, be entertained. Um, Y'all, this man really tried it. Hey, Auntie um, Kaliga. Overseer Pringle. <clears throat> uh, um, anyway. Oh, okay, so the message you will be getting today. I see angels on. Uh, I'm sure. <clears throat> I, w I just wanted to make sure whatever is relayed back to he who went live. Because um, I'm wise enough to use a, not to use a name. But I will be very direct. Um, he who was in North Carolina, my former pastor, um, who I refer to as my grandfather, um, the chief apostle of, of a, or the organization I just came from, um, the Apostolic Church, the Holiness Church, Solid Rock, uh, if you will. Um, so he just went live addressing um, some very serious stuff. Um, he went live in a very coward way, um, but it's to be expected because it's him. Um, so he addressed the fact that when well, he addressed the fact that we've been going live, myself, Jeff, and I did speak to Jeff before I went live, so he knows I using his name. Um, and I talked to a other couple brothers that feel that are upset <clears throat> that he went live um, and lied. And you know what's more upsetting um, to me the fact that. This stuff started coming out in June. And let me show you how much of a coward he is. You wait all the way to September when you get your uh, posse around, your little fruity pebbles around, I mean, solid rockers or whoever, whatever you want to call them. When you get them around, then you get enough bravery and enough strength to actually uh, want to address some, some sensitive stuff. Um, and for the most part, I feel like I've had tact and coof and how I've addressed it. But to sit here and call me a liar, um, and the rest of us liars, um, is just not okay with me. And, um, and I'm sure people will want to correct me after I go live. I would hope you will use enough wisdom not to, and just, you know, keep your opinions amongst yourselves for your benefit. Um... But I think it was very tacky of him to go live and this is show how weak minded people are. The same ones who act like they support and so devastated by um, some of us telling the truth about what he did to us and some of our experiences. Um, this are the same ones that are sitting there live on the live cheering him on and this oh my yeah that's right chief apostle and the hey dads and all this stuff y'all are the same ones in my inbox like oh my god like he's a monster i can't believe him um and then y'all are dumb enough to sit under him and he and be under the same mind control where he tells you not to use y'all's phone anymore for the rest of the week while y'all are there you're idiots um but I, it's to be expected. He has mind control. I was once under it, so I understand the loyalty, and I understand it. It's very tacky and played out, but I guess he expected no one to respond or no one to be bold enough and say, Sir, you know you are lying. You know very well you have AIDS, um, and you have passed it to innocent people. And that's to play with words, like how you're playing with words. You said you never didn't um, pass it to anyone. You never denied the fact that you had it. Um, and I think that was very tech. Um, that was smart of you. You never denied. You said that um, sex trafficking is a, it may be a strong word. Um, Y'all play with, you play with boys. And to sit here and say that you um, don't mess around or play with guys during convocation, you and I both know that that's a lie. You and I both know. Um, and the very ones that, that's been there since the 90s and that early 2000s and that have been there since they put me on and put Jeff on and told me about you when I was young and in your organization. The ones that are standing by the pulpit cheering you on from Connecticut. Like, y'all know better. Like, y'all are ignorant standing there like, 
you put me on. You told me all the secrets. You told me y'all's tea, y'all's y'all's history. So to sit here and act like y'all tacky, dry, and I just be direct about it. Um, oh, you said a whole lot. I had to make notes, y'all. He said a whole a whole bunch. Um, Oh, so I, this is why I think you had enough, you're finally bold enough to say something because you got that call from the sheriff this morning about the warrant that's out for you because yet another victim found out that they were diagnosed because of you. So, of course, you want to build your team and get everyone mad at us and uh, for going live and start threatening us like they were before, but at, they're going to be the ones looking dumb because while you're sitting behind bars for the stuff that you know that is true, um... Yeah, you, you little foodie pebble, solid rockers, uh, idiots, dummies, blind people, and not to the innocent ones, but to the ones that are fake and phony. They have been calling me and some of my brothers um, that were once in the organization and give us all the sympathy cards and all this empathy, but, but, uh, but uh, sitting there right now, Y'all deserve everything that is coming, and y'all deserve the embarrassment that is that is definitely coming when that man is behind bars for the things that he's done. And oh, eat plan with words again. And he, uh, what, what, what was how, what was the text? Oh, that's he. Um, he addressed the whole gambling thing. Now everyone in his family knows that he has the biggest gambling problem anytime you sit up in a casino and fall asleep on the slot machines you have a problem and you know that's not a lie everybody that knows you that is on this live live knows that that's the truth knows that you would spend money after convocation y'all uh, if he's not behind bars he's taking that money uh, and going to the casino he's a seven star at the casino because he gambles 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 um so don't play with words with that you do get take money from the church so he, what he said was uh, I give more money than I take. Now that may be true. Because you, it's easy to give it when you know it's coming right back to your pocket. And you, of course, the, everyone cheers. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Y'all are so, y'all are so dumb. Listen to what this man is saying. A lot of stuff he did not deny. He just played with words. If you go back and and listen to what he said. And your governing him, ain't nobody scared of their decision, their unholy self. First of all, y'all don't have a standard, don't have a prayer life. You don't have, only thing you have is a dress standard. That's it. And and half y'all don't live that behind his back. So, your governing him, I can tell you where that can go. The only one that was living something is gone. The only one who had a standard and was trying to and held your organization to a standard is gone. So all so I expect them to support you not sitting yourself down or be being silenced. Like they y'all they can get away with the stuff they get away with. Maybe they wouldn't have so many problems with their marriage or in their family denying them, not wanting to be connected to them, or they having been sleeping with women off. And you've been. Listen, there's a lot of stuff I know and can say, and it's only because the biggest faggot in the organization, and that is the chief apostle, the biggest gossiper, is no way I was 18 year old and know everything that was going on in, in the organization because I laid in the bed right next to the chief apostle every night. So every time he was on the phone with y'all, guess who was laying next to him? Me. I know all y'all's tea, all y'all's business. So before y'all come for me or the boys that, that that are telling the truth about this monster, this liar that has been doing the same thing for years and years, and that keeps moving around from North Carolina to Boston to Georgia, back to North Carolina, running running away from people that know his story, and then when things die down and people start fading off, and then then you go back to the city because it's a new crowd, you, the younger people know you. We caught on. And hopefully y'all dummies that are sitting in this holy convocation up there under this witch and warlock, hopefully y'all catch on. And Listen, it's truth. It's all truth. And it all come out. And you've got to be a black faggot of a fool to be sitting there and go live knowing that I'm telling the truth. Knowing that Jeff is telling the truth. Knowing that all the boys. And what the hell do we, what do we have to gain? So there got a lot of us have came out about our status, about the about being sexually assaulted, about being part of a cult, embarrassing stuff. What do we have to gain? You're not that important. 
you don't have any money to offer us because you gamble it. Or you spend it on boards that you try to get. So what do we have to gain? Nothing. You're the idiot for going live and, and addressing someone that you know will address you. Like saved and all. You cause a lot of trauma. You cause a lot of pain. And you have caused a lot of hurt in a lot of people's family. And there are a lot of people right now that are struggling mentally. So for you to come behind and still stick to your lie and confuse people more, people have become free because we have told the truth. People have left your organization and stood in their truth. People and, and, and these people are lost because people have been a part of your organization and believed in you. And now that we're telling the truth about you, they've been confused. And they don't know what to do because they believed in you so much. So for you to go live again and say that we're lying on you to confuse these, you are a witch, you are a warlock, and you're going to get what God, what God has for you. And that's judgment. And I speak for myself, my all my family, for all the guys that have been hurt by you. And you are such a, let me tell you, you've got to be a heartless somebody. And y'all got to be some heartless people. To continue to follow a man that has hurt people, that has that has all of these allegations, and he comes out and with a petty video, he did not, he never came out with an apology. The least he could have said was, you know what, I am sorry for the people that feel like I hurt them. There may be truth in it, there may not be truth in it. That's for the courts to decide. But I apologize as a man of God for the people that I've hurt. Did he do that? Absolutely not. But this is y'all's chief apostle. The man that speaks, that preaches holiness of hell, that, that if you don't cover yourself, that you're, you're going to hell. That man th doesn't have enough God or Holy Ghost in him to even address people that have committed, tried to commit suicide, that are uh, this jacked up right now. Jacked up because of him. And y'all continue to follow him, and he can't even give a half, half fake apology. But yet he came out with a live video in the middle of holy convocation, God's holy week. You choose holy convocation to, uh, to stand in God's holy pulpit and say that we're lying on you. This man is changing lives. I can't believe it. I just want to stay on in case I think of something. Well, let me look at my notes. What else I wanted to say? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sick of this defense of the whole. I've done. I paid bills for these boys. I've done this for these. You, of course, we earned that. We deserve that. First of all, you've never given us the choice of our health. You slept with multiple of us and never ever addressed your health. Still to this day, and still lying about it. So yes, we deserved our bills paid. We deserved all of that because you have snatched us from our families. Our families trusted us with you. It's not the fact that you took care of us. We ran, we ran away from being hurt. We ran away from, or, or not even, some of us didn't even run away. Some of us just looked up to you and ran to you. And what did you do? I don't care if it was a child. I don't care if we was 18. I don't care how young we were. We were too young for you to be touching us inappropriately knowing that you have AIDS and not giving us an option to whether we wanted to protect ourselves or not. You're a monster. So yes, you did pay our bills. Yes, you can hear from God. Yes, you dabble in some somebody's spirit realm. Who's I don't know. Jewelry still out on there. But not I, I know, but I that's for y'all to decide. Um so yeah we deserved our bill. We just I deserve everything I got. I, I sure did. And yes, you did do it. You paid bills. You treated, you, you took me on cruises. You did all of that, guess. The hush money. Just, that's right, sis. That's the only comment I read. Hush money. But no, I'm not going to hush. Since you want to be petty and go live, what else I got to say? I wrote on a napkin. I was so pissed off. Because I don't even follow these people. I'm, I'm, I'm laying down in my bed, filling out applications and doing productive stuff to, to better my life. And I'm getting calls about you. Mind you, I wasn't even taking calls from anything that could trigger any type of emotion towards you, to be to be fair, because you caused enough damage. I got a call from someone that became that found out that they were positive because, through messing with you here recently. 
And that's why I took the call. That's how I found out you were in life. It's not that you are that relevant. It is not that y'all are that relevant. It is not that y'all carry any cloud. I give, if I had extra cares, I wouldn't give one about what y'all was doing about uh, at at that convocation until you started and decided to address this. That's when you became relevant again. Other than that, don't give yourself that. You're not that. You're not that important. You're definitely not that attractive. Uh. Anyway, back to my notes. Uh, yeah, good luck with that warrant, too. Um, do, 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 do. what else I want to say? Somebody, I called around, too. Like, what you want me to address? I got, I'm coming to that, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, listen, let me tell you. Watch your back, uh, uh, Apostle, because some of these people have been have have been bringing us so much information from you. I'm talking about legal stuff, and they sitting up in there. Your, some of your overseers with big hats there tonight. I thought that was a good piece of funny that some of these same people that are, that act, that are in your face that you feel that you feel that you got strength to address me. These people that gave you strength are the same ones that are, that, that, that are in my ear and in my inbox and giving me everything you need. So the joke is on you. I thought that was a good piece of funny. It's going to be a horrible... That's, you are too dark skin to be sitting up in orange, too. You should have thought about that. That orange ain't your color. I don't know why... I don't know who in the 80s told you that bright colors was your thing, but that orange jumpsuit ain't going to look good on you. I just thought I put that... Oh, yeah, I think that was about it that I wanted to address. Let me read the comments. Anything else I should say? Hey, cousin Amy, I'm sorry you gotta watch me go off, but if you if you knew if you knew the story and you knew what was going on, then you would understand my level of festivity. Hey, y'all. I'm going to stay encouraged there. I'll read the whole comment later. Thank you, brother. <sighs> anyway. I'm about to get off. Hey, Will. Uh, yeah, I'm about to get off. But, um, it's been real. And if you decide to go live again, I still, I still have, I still have not told my truth. So it can just get pettier and pettier. Um, I love you too, cousin Amy. Um, yeah, that man, the chief apostle that I'm addressing is a monster. He's a liar. I'm not lying on him. Those of us that have uh, told our truth uncomfortably aren't lying on him. And I would hope he have enough sense to uh, be honest. But you know what? I, that man is a reprobate because he honestly don't even think he's doing anything wrong. He really don't. He don't think he's doing anything wrong. He has a justification for everything and he really thinks he's okay. So I don't really expect anything better than him, from him. It did get to me though. Obviously it did. But that man is a reprobate. And he deserves everything he has coming to him. Everything. Um, now, listen. Now, some of y'all know me and some of y'all don't. Um, now, I have a little, a lot more tact on this um, live thing where everyone can see and hear me. I am telling everyone that can see and hear me and will see and hear me. Choose your battle. Don't call me with no craziness. And don't inbox me with no craziness. If you do, I'm going to be completely wrong with you. Whatever that means. So, um, I understand he said he was going to re release y'all people that threaten a lot and do absolutely nothing in the organization. Um, and they go for bad. And I've been hearing stories about for years and years, but I ain't seen y'all bust a grape in a fruit fight. 
But but y'all are bad though. Ooh. But if y'all decide to go for bed tonight, um, please. Um, what what you say, Rhonda? Release your sister's sense. Wants to. <laughs> I will not. I will, I will not. I will not involve my family. I will protect my family by all means. Um, and y'all to think that I'm wrong for going live, y'all. I, I hate that you had that opinion. Do keep it to yourself. But I des I deserve a voice and everyone else deserves a voice. The guys deserve a voice and some of them have things going on for themselves that they, they don't want the spotlight on them. And I understand. I'll be the sacrifice. Um, and this time I don't need no sympathy. I don't need the, I don't need all that extra attention. Like I'm good. Like, I've been gone long enough, and I've been dealing with all everything else long enough. Like, um, everyone just ain't strong, strong enough to bounce back the way that Ronnie can. And I think it's unfair for him and his, and his lies to go around bullying innocent people, people that have, our lives have changed because of him. Um, so, I'll give it some time. <laughs> See you behind bars. Well, I won't see you behind bars, but I hear about you. <laughs>